Habshini, we are Talking Cars. Thank you for joining us today. Please stay, please like and subscribe. So without wasting any time today, we're looking into the Grand i10. This is a 2021 model. Uh, a new one was launched recently, which looks a lot more modern. But uh, for the purpose of this video, we're looking solely into this one. So when this came out two years ago, it was a little grand champion in my eyes. It offered you a lot more value for your money. So it came out in two engine choices. You could either get a, a three cylinder, one liter engine or a four cylinder, 1.2 liter engine. We'll get into the power figures a bit later on. So in terms of trim, you could either opt for a motion, which was the entry level or the fluid, which is this one or the top of the, the range, you know, yes. So from the front, you can really see this big grill, which is quite inviting. It's smiling at you. Uh, maybe it is inspired by the Aston Martins of the older age, uh, the, the newer Ford Fiestas. I don't know. You get to decide. And then if you look at these daytime running lights, they're taking me back to a place I don't really like. Eh? And that is Matt, because I really couldn't differentiate between uh, greater than and less than signs. I still can't, but that's not the point. And this is only reserved for the fluid perhaps it is a calculated move so yeah from the front it is quite nice it is quite cute you get daytime running lights you get fog lamps and this chromey-ish effect uh, grill which is only for the fluid over onto the side profile you then get this chunky 14 inch alloy rims in the fluid if you opt for the motion then you just get basic steel wheels which you don't like and probably shouldn't be liking anyway because they're ugly and then yeah so on this one if you look closely you will notice that the side mirror has an indicator mounted onto it yes you don't get that on the motion uh, on the motion the indicator is mounted on the fender so yeah in this uh, specific color palette in fact the white and red colors if you opt for the fluid spec they normally come with the let's call it the black package so the black roof and the black rims so in this color palette everything works out uh, from the rear, the grand i10 is quite a looker. Uh, there's a line that runs through from the boot into the tail light, which really stands out. I really like that. I'm a fan of this design. I really think it looks nicer from the back than it is from the front. Uh, and you know what they say about men who like it from the back. So looking into the boot area itself, uh, you get 256 liters of uh, storage area, which is plenty for this type of car, is, is good enough. And there's a net to then house one or two fruits. And you know what they say about apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So looking underneath, there is a fully sized spare wheel for you to use. And yeah, you need that for South African roads, definitely. So the boot opening area is quite big enough. You will be satisfied. So the cooler bag is standard. It has to fit with a young six pack inside. You know, yeah, that is essential. Then everything else will come afterwards. Really nice. Well done. The interior overview of the Grand i10, uh, basically you get hard plastics used throughout but luckily for you Honda went the extra mile and designed a really nice honeycomb structure for your viewing pleasure. Nice and steady door handle, uh, side mirror controls and window controls are there as well, standard and this fluid spec. And yeah, stepping inside you are then greeted by this beautiful interior, you know, black artificial leather seats with red stitching and piping used. Notice how uh, the seat is also height adjustable for the driver only, but it's really nice. I am thoroughly impressed. So uh, step inside to you know, uh, yeah, break 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 it down a bit more. So as for the steering wheel, it is nice and compact, nicely designed. Uh, it's leather wrapped as well, finished in red stitching, and yeah, these controls are really nice to use. Nice and clicky sounds. Yeah, this is a quality product overall. Notice the checkered like effect on the speedometer, which then uh, suggests something or adds on to what the car is trying to tell us about its sporty nature or dynamics, you know, red accents on the air vent controls and so forth. The honeycomb structure is there on your dashboard. Yeah, I really like it. I think it looks nice, you know. It's something for you to look at because there's a lot of plastic going on there. The space for something that you may need to put over there and look at this big opening really really nice you can store a number of items inside so storage area is plenty 
you get a 6.2 inch infotainment screen which supports android auto and apple carplay so for your na for navigating around town you can easily use that as well really nice i like that you also get uh, a manual air conditioning unit which is nice and quite strong As for the rear section of the car, the same treatment as the front continues. So you get a honeycomb structure that is on the hard plastic, a big opening for your bottle, and then the magic button, which is an electronic uh, button to open and close the window. So st stepping inside, you also find uh, the right stitching used on the artificial leather seats, which open in a 60-40 split, just like that. really nice really nice and then for for the grandmothers grandfathers out there there's their isofix mounting points for those grandkids and the middle you get a lap belt to use and then something that is an anomaly in this segment you get a rear a, a convent as well as the usb port for you to use and charge as for the driving impressions of the car i am thoroughly impressed even though it comes with a miniature one liter engine with uh, 49 kilowatts of power and 91 newton meters of torque, it feels adequate, you know, for the job. Especially, maybe that is due to the weight of the car, because it, it weighs less than 900 kilograms. Uh, perhaps it is due to that, but everything, the way it's dialed, the way that it's set up, it really does work for what this car is intended for. So this is something that you use as a day, daily uh, around town, town driving car. And for for those people, this really does uh, work and work really well so I need to highlight that the steering wheel at low speeds is fairly heavy right which then means that you can really and easily control the car you know nicely weighted if I may use such a way and yeah very impressed for such a small car right so uh, the manual gearbox is easy to use the charge control is really nice and soft which is what you want if you're going to be spending most of your time driving to the shops, driving to work, and if you're an unfortunate uh, kid, you can then drive this one to school as well. So, really nice, it's easy for you to use. I am currently enjoying the pleasure of its nice and strong air conditioning unit. Yeah, it's at level one, but it's nice and it's, yeah, nice and strong, I must say. Uh, for in terms of your tech and your, you know, technical issues, the technical specifications, you get a nice 6.2 inch infotainment screen which supports a, a Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So, yeah, you can really use that to then navigate your way around town and, yeah, basically change, you know, tune and change your sound system. And it's really nice to have. You also benefit from a uh, very compliant ride, which is nice and, uh, yeah, nice and comfortable. So, obviously, segment car, a budget friendly option, you really can 
little champion since it comes through with uh, 14 inch rubber tires yeah it works you know the, the, the ride is nice and supple nice and compliant and as far as giving it the means let's try it out in that gear great car or especially either as a first time car buyer or if you're looking to downsize or get into something a lot more affordable in terms of running costs fuel consumption fuel costs and, and so forth in terms of your services you only get a one year 15,000 kilometer service plan so just one service and that's it and then in terms of warranty which is where you get your peace of mind you get a five year 150,000 kilometer warranty with an additional two year and 15,000 kilometer warranty on the powertrain. So for the next five to seven years, uh, you sorted none. And yeah, in terms of pricing, what which one do I recommend in the range? A one liter fluid makes a lot of sense because of its tech and specification. And in the used market, you can really look at spending between 118,000 to 250,000, and we keeping the mileage at 20,000. So it ideally would be a lot less than that. So quite get it makes a lot of sense in terms of your tech what you really get for that you get a 6.2 infotainment screen or system which is great for you to use you know, in terms of navigating around town music blah 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 great you get abs ebd that is breaking tech we'll look into it at, at some point and then you get a uh, high fixed mounting points for the child seats so you can't leave your kids anymore with your family and then i'll take along with you on the trip and is there something that i'm forgetting i don't think so abs abd isofix dual front airbags and you sort it out so in terms of value for money i mean come on guys it's a great car buy it enjoy it and pay for it of course thank you so much guys uh, keep well see you on the next one